Are you looking for the perfect flooring for your home or for your own investment property? Stay tuned as I go over all the details around hardwood, engineered hardwood, uh, luxury vinyl plank, laminate. I go through the pros and cons of each of them, and I also give you my own recommendations on who I think each of these flooring types is the best fit for. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So just a couple of quick disclaimers for you guys right off the bat, which is that there are different ways of uh, installing each of these different types. Some of them are glued down, some of them are floating, some of them click together. Uh, some of them are DIY friendly, some of them aren't. They also come in different uh, price points, so some of them are gonna be a lot more expensive depending on maybe the rarity of the wood um, or depending on the type of brand that you're choosing. So that's not really the purpose of what I'm trying to get across in this video. I'm just trying to give you some general guidelines, quick overview of all the different types, explain what they are, the general advantages and disadvantages. And of course, you know, I'm going to give you my two cents and I'm going to do that here too. So that's the purpose of this video. Let's get started. Okay. So the first time I want to talk about is solid hardwood. So it looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it is just a piece of wood that is then nailed down right into your uh, flooring. Okay, so what are the different advantages of hardwood? Well, first of all, I think there's just a warmth that comes from real natural wood. And you know, if you've been into a, if you've owned real hardwood before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it just really feels like it's kind of got that just that warm energy, and you just know that it's natural wood. Um, you know, as the person who installed it, and that means something to you. So if that matters to you, then you know any of these manufactured products I'm going to be talking but later on, they're not really gonna replicate the exact experience as having real hardwood in your home. It also can be sanded down, which is nice. So you can actually sand down the surface um, several times. So that does give you a lot of advantages over the long term. So it's really classic and it's gonna last you for decades. And another really great advantage of real hardwood is resale value. So people tend to really prize real hardwood and it does elevate the uh, space. So if you are looking to sell it in a few years, you'll probably get top dollar uh, for your hardwood. It's not gonna be a knock against it because people will assume that they're not gonna have to replace it. They're gonna assume it's gonna be around for decades. And if they fall in love with it, they're gonna pay for it. So that's something to keep in mind too. And some of the disadvantages of hardwood. First of all, it's very expensive. Uh, because this is real wood and it's not a manufactured product, it is going to be a little bit on the pricier side. Not a little bit, it's actually quite a little bit on the pricier side. It is kind of quite expensive. Uh, a couple of other disadvantages, it does dent and ding and scratch very easily because this is solid wood and wood is a fairly soft material. So, um, you know, if you drop something on it, you know, if you drop a knife or in the kitchen or something like that, you know, it is going to chip, it is going to scratch it. Again, you can buff those out, uh, but that's just something to be mindful of. You're not gonna buff it out, you know, every year. It will ding and scratch with different, you know, moving furniture or with pets or with kids or whatever. And of course, tied into that in terms of the durability is that it is also subject to water damage. So if you have a leaking dishwasher or uh, your washer breaks or something like that, um, that's something to be mindful of because it is real wood. Another disadvantage to hardwood is that it's not ideal for really kind of humid environments. So think like Florida, right? Like if you live in Florida, probably this is not gonna work for you. And that's because it starts to have little, um, it starts to cup, they call it cupping. And basically all the cupping is, is that as uh, the wood tends to expand and contract depending on uh, the season and the humidity level and whatever. So it's not really recommended for really humid environments. And also kind of tied into that point is that it really only comes in these sort of planks. Uh, the trend has definitely moved towards larger planks, especially in open concepts, which are a lot more popular now, um, as well as like really large rooms. The trend is moving towards having really wide planks. So getting into the six, seven, eight inches. And because of the cupping and uh, all the stuff I just mentioned, um, these don't actually really come in those sizes, which if that's a deal breaker for you, sorry, you just can't really get eight inch eight inch wide planks in a real hardwood product. So they usually just come in uh, these sort of smaller planks. So if you're looking for something bigger, you're out of luck with hardwood. Okay, moving on, let's talk about engineered hardwood. So engineered hardwood, first of all, the advantage that I mentioned in hardwood still applies here. It's real wood. What it is basically is you've got kind of this plywood material underneath, uh, but then you've got, you can if you can see, but you've got this layer here of real wood. So this is a real wood product. You're able to see that and you kind of get the advantages of having that warm wood uh, feel in your space. You're going to get all those different knots, that texture. Uh, you're going to get that in an engineered hardwood that you're not going to get in a manufactured product. Also, you can sand it down. A lot of people say that you can't. You, you can. Uh, just be mindful. I mean, this has a lot of texture here, so I'm not sure if you sand it, you're going to be able to keep that texture. You can usually just sand down, you know, a couple of times uh, because you do have that veneer that sits on top. Uh, so you are able to do that. The other advantage with engineered hardwood is that it's perfectly fine for human environments. It also comes in a variety of sizes. So this one 
here, this is a seven inch plank. So this is a seven inch wide plank. Um, so if you're looking for that in a hardwood product, but you can't get it, then engineered hardwood is definitely the way to go. So like the case with hardwood, engineered hardwood is also really great for resale. Um, people tend to really love hardwood. They tend to think, okay, this is probably a really quality product. They're not gonna rip it up. So they tend to sort of pay a higher premium because they know that it's a really great product that they're gonna be happy with for years. Okay, couple of disadvantages to engineered hardwood. Two really big ones come to mind. First of all, um, it is quite expensive. So it sometimes can be, it's not as expensive probably as real hardwood. Again, it sort of depends on the variety and whatever, uh, but generally it is still a very expensive product. And the other one is durability. So because it's got that real wood layer on top, it has some of the disadvantages that we talked about in hardwood. Just be mindful that, you know, you will get little dings and scratches along the way. Um, so maybe not an ideal if you're really fussy and you want it to look absolutely perfect forever. Uh, probably engineered hardwood might not, not make sense for you in that case. Okay, the next step here is luxury luxury vinyl plank. That seems to be the name that they're rolling around these days. This thing is just getting more and more popular. I mean, the luxury plank part, I feel like is just like a marketing gimmick, to be honest to me, but it's vinyl. And I feel like people think vinyl and they think cheap. And they say they call it luxury vinyl plank to sort of jazz it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, it's luxury vinyl plank. That's what we're gonna call it. Um, okay, so basically what it is, it's just this manufactured material on the bottom here. It's got a protective layer and it's got a layer of vinyl. Um, advantages here. So what are we talking? Um, advantage is that it's generally going to be more affordable uh, than the engineered hardwood or the hardwood options. Uh, so this is probably, it's still not like the cheapest option, which we'll get to, uh, but it's still a much more affordable option. Also durability. This is scratch resistant. It is also waterproof. Again, you want to check with a specific brand that you're getting, but that could be a huge advantage for you is if you maybe have small children or if you have lots of pets or whatever, and you think there's going to be maybe little accidents in the house or there's going to be a lot of furniture, a lot of action, a lot of movement in the space and um, that really matters to you, then I would say durability, luxury vinyl plank is a more durable product than the wood options that we just talked about. Another advantage is that although this is a print, this this on top here is a print, um, these things are getting really good, you guys. Like sometimes when you can find this in a space and you walk in, you know, you can be fooled. You can look at it and think like, oh, is this real hardwood? And then it takes you a minute or sometimes you'll never even figure out that this is actually luxury vinyl plank. So the quality here is really good. These prints are getting really good. They're getting more and more wood-like, um, which is a huge advantage, I think. Okay, so now let's get to the cons of luxury vinyl plank. I would say the first first one is that it's not a real wood product and for some people that will really bother them. Some people just really want to know that they have real wood in their space and that's why they're going to go with engineered hardwood and if that's going to bug you then I'm sorry but this will never actually be real wood. You can, it can look like it, they can get better at better at printing it, but it is going to be different. So arguably it kind of lacks the warmth that's going to come from a real wood product. Also, something that I have noticed is you can see here, like this particular one here, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like faking that there's a knot. Um, if you run your finger over it, like I can tell that there's nothing there. Like this is clearly just a print. Um, so again, if you're looking for all those different, you know, knots and character and, you know, when you're bare feet and you're just kind of walking around your house, you want to be able to feel the knots and feel all the different texture that comes with wood. So depending on the type, they are embossing these to give them kind of a little bit more texture. So that kind of really depends on the variety that you pick up. But to me, you're never going to see um, a replication of this. Uh, exact kind of uh, texture that you're going to get in a real wood product. So the print is there, but the texture is kind of not. Another disadvantage is that it's usually not as great for resale. So usually if you're going to go sell your house in a few years, uh, people will not kind of pay a premium because they are going to see this as a more affordable product. And so um, they're not going to necessarily pay the premium that they would get if you were to say, look at engineered hardwood or in real hardwood. And another potential disadvantage is going to be off-gassing. So I'm going to talk about this one as well in a minute, but off-gassing just basically means that there is concern that manufactured products like this can emit gases after they've been installed, which are arguably maybe not healthy uh, for you and your family. Um, I'm not going to kind of weigh in on this because this is honestly really up to you. There are some people in my life that just would never put this in their home, uh, that they would really just look for an engineered hardwood or hardwood product because they know wood has been around for the beginning of time and they know that it's it's a safe product. Um, and so there could be some safety concerns around a product like this, but I'm also not gonna weigh in and say that, you know, this is not good for you. That's kind of really up to you. I think like 
you can sort of weigh in on whether or not that's something that you're comfortable with. Okay, so finally, you guys, we have laminate. So laminate is basically, you got this manufactured kind of wood product in here, and then you have a print on top. So the big difference here is that uh, the big advantage, I would say, over, say, comparing it to something like luxury vinyl plank, is that it's usually a lot cheaper. So I know for a lot of you out there, I'm not gonna be so snobby to assume that everybody should put in solid hardwood in their place. For some people, it's a stretch to even get into laminate, and I totally understand that. Um, so if that's you, this is a really great option because these, again, the prints are getting better. Uh, they're becoming higher quality. They're really able to, this even does have some texture to it. I mean, it's not the same as wood, I'm not gonna lie, but it's getting a lot better. The biggest disadvantage to laminate, I'm gonna compare it to vinyl. The biggest disadvantage here is that it is not waterproof. Um, so a lot of the disadvantages of vinyl still apply in terms of resale and whatever, but the biggest one I wanna focus on is waterproofing because if you have something, I'll give you an example. My friends used to rent an apartment and the landlord had put in laminate and the place was gorgeous. Like they had put in a lot of money into this renovation, into this rental, but they put in laminate probably because it was the cheapest option. Uh, thought they could save some money. Well, of course the washing machine ended up leaking one day and they ended up having to tear out a lot of the laminate in order to put it all back in. Um, so you save money in the short term, but just be really careful because you are taking on a little bit of risk that there could be a leakage of a bathtub or a dishwasher or a sink or whatever, and that's going to ruin your laminate because this is not waterproof. So that's just something to really be mindful of. Okay, so now my own two cents, like who would I recommend this for? Because I think each product is really great at something and really perfect for a specific type of customer. So let's start with real hardwood. So real hardwood people, like you know who you are. Like if you're a real hardwood person, it's because you want that very traditional look, you want something that's gonna last you for decades, you're looking for a really timeless kind of design, and you just really want like just real wood. And you know, any of the newfangled um, manufacturer products or even engineered hardwood is a bridge too far. You just want that real wood experience, you want it uh, that really done that traditional way and that's something that really matters to you. So engineered hardwood, I would say it's really awesome for people that are living in the space that they're gonna be renovating. So this is probably not the first choice I would personally put in for something like a rental. I think if you're going to enjoy it because you value the warmth and the sort of um, varying textures that come from engineered wood, and you're really looking to put in a real wood product in your home, um, if you're going to be living there and you're concerned about off-gassing, uh, engineered hardwood is a really great option. Also, if you're living in humid environments um, or in places where you just don't wanna take the risk with real hardwood, engineered hardwood is a really great place for you. Okay, luxury vinyl plank. I think luxury vinyl plank is really great for people that are doing a rental. You wanna own the place for a long time. You don't wanna keep changing out the flooring every few years. You wanna treat it as an investment, but you want it to be something that's gonna last for a long time. So you're looking for a really durable product. Luxury vinyl plank is great. I think if you have small kids, I think if you have lots of maybe if you have pets um, it is of the manufactured products it's the pricier of the two but I do think you get a lot out of that durability so I think if that kind of fits your deal uh, then luxury vinyl plank is great and then finally we have laminate and I think laminate is really great for people that want the look of wood um, and they don't actually really care about it being actual wood but they just want that look and feel and they're really looking for that cost-effective option they're really looking for that lower price point just be really careful about water damage you are taking a little bit of a risk there, um, but assuming you're okay with that because you know you really want to save that money up front, that makes a lot of sense. So thanks for watching, you guys. I actually just created a renovation playlist that I'm going to link right here, uh, and you can check that out, and it's got details around like countertops and quartz and granite and all the rest of it. And I've added some details there, so if you're doing a full renovation, I highly advise you check out that playlist, and I've got more content there. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.